Hey guys, it's Nathan with American West Realty, and I do not have my 360 camera or selfie stick, so this will be kind of a not so good video, but I'm standing in front of a new listing here on Salisbury Avenue. I'm going to flip the camera around and give you a, a look-see. First, take a quick look at the neighborhood here. Here it's pretty quiet, except for that dog barking down the street. So this home is technically a one bedroom, one bath with a half bath downstairs. I'll explain that. Uh, it's got a detached one car garage with an opener, pretty long parking lot, and a nice little fence yard here in the front, as well as a pretty spacious fence yard in the back. Again, this is on Salisbury Avenue. Address is 1326 Salisbury. Just a couple blocks off of Main Street. Walk into the front door here. It takes us right into the living room. Got some beautiful hardwood floors. Again, sorry I don't have my better camera to give you a better view, but it's a pretty good sized room. Lots of big bright windows. We have a little gas. Uh, it's not a fireplace, technically, more like a gas uh, furnace. Uh, makes us pretty cozy. That red handle at the top would open up the flue for ventilation. That's fully functional. Nice big dining room here. It attaches to the kitchen. Again, hardwood floors. Got some beautiful light fixtures in here. Leading us into the kitchen. We have a dishwasher. Pretty good amount of cabinet storage space. Again, nice bright windows. And over here we have the refrigerator and a gas range. Some more cabinets and a microwave. Some nice windows looking out into the backyard. I'll take you out there in just a second. And this whole space kind of wraps around. Back here in the hallway, we have the bathroom. This is a three quarter bathroom. So we've got a sink and vanity, toilet, and then back here behind the door is the walk-in shower. Quite a bit of natural light. I love that light fixture there, LED light fixture. Got a pantry or linen closet right here next to the bathroom. And then here we have the bedroom with a closet off to the side here. And from the bedroom, it wraps right back around to the living room. Okay, so that's the upstairs. Going out through the back, past the bathroom and, and kitchen, we've got this kind of small landing here, would make a great spot for dropping off boots or hanging coats. The back entrance, which leads to a covered patio here. The cement floor. And we have a wood deck here and then the fenced yard which again is pretty spacious the walk through gate there in the back uh, there's actually two of them I think that lead to the alleyway which is where you would uh, have your trash containers so this original cabin back here Pretty old it's actually been locked off the owner has some personal items stored in there and then this yellow section here is the garage take you inside that pretty basic one car garage you can see the locked door there with the owner's stuff there is a lawnmower here for tenant use as well as a weed whacker gas can snow shovel got a little bit of storage up top a garage door opener and a fairly new door with some windows that allow some nice natural light in.
This door here is just a kind of false door. It kind of covers or closes off the breezeway between the house and the garage. But that would be another way you could walk in without going through the garage uh, to get into the backyard. So back into the stairwell, we have a full, mostly finished basement. Nice big landing here at the bottom. Leads into the hallway. Down here we have two bedrooms, the laundry, and a bathroom. But these are not advertised as bedrooms. Probably shouldn't have used that word. But you can see that the windows are not egress. They're too small for somebody to get out. They're up too high. So this is not advertised as a sleeping space. We do have a storage closet, actually two of them in this room, and then a pretty large walk-in storage closet in the other room. Now this bathroom is functional mostly. It has a functional bathtub. The sink is functional, but the toilet is not. And we're leaving that turned off. So it's basically just a toilet, or sorry, a bathtub and a sink. The doors are off as well, just to prevent any pipes from freezing. This is down in the basement where it's probably cooler. So we just left that open to allow warm air to circulate. It's another closet here with the water heater. See, that's fairly new, installed in 2017. Here we have the laundry room. Washer and dryer is included. And just some additional storage space for got some cleaning supplies and things there. And then the second bonus room down here. Again, smaller windows up high. But this would be functional for a hobby room, office, something of that nature. And a pretty good sized closet there. All right, so that's a quick look at 1326 Salisbury. This is on our website. If you want to go take a look, you can uh, see some pictures, prices, and schedule a showing, or you can start the application process online. If this doesn't float your boat, be sure to check out our other rentals. Things are going quick, so keep an eye on our website for the latest listings. Thanks.